Just like for first order ODEs, we can also find equilibrium solutions of systems. So let's find the equilibrium solutions of X prime is minus X plus X Y and Y prime is minus eight Y plus four X Y. And again, we just do it by analogy with first order systems. So if you remember, again, from the beginning of the course, to find the equilibrium solutions, solutions of, let's say the logistic equation, y prime is two y times one minus y over three. We just set X, oh sorry, y prime equals it. So in other words, this two y times one minus y over three, we set that equal to zero. And the nice thing is, same thing is true here, except you set both x prime equals zero and y prime equals zero. Here, set x prime equals zero and y prime. And that's because equilibrium solutions don't move. So it won't move in the x direction and it won't move in the y direction. Which in this case, if you set x prime and y prime zero, then you get a system of two equations, minus x plus xy equals zero and minus eight y plus four xy equals zero. And careful, don't divide by x and y just yet, because you might miss on zero solutions. Instead, factor out. So x times minus 1 plus y equals 0, and y times minus 8 plus 4x equals 0. Which gives us two choices each. So either x equals zero or y equals one and y equals zero or so minus eight plus four x equals zero so x equals two and the way you have to think about this is we have two choices for the first category, two for the second one. Think of this really as food and drink choices. So the first thing would be two choices for food. And the second thing would be two choices for drinks. So really we have four choices here. So case one, so as I said, there are four choices here. One is x equals zero and y equals zero. I mean, food one and drink one. That would give you the point zero, zero. The second thing would be, again, food one and drink two. x equals zero and x equals two. But that wouldn't really work. We can't multi-track drift, no? Because x cannot be both 0 and 2. So this would not give you any equilibrium points. The third case, so now with y equals 1, we have y equals 1 and y equals 0. Again, wouldn't work. Or last but not least, case four, y equals one and x equals two. X equals two, which would give you the equilibrium point two, one. Again, careful, because x comes first and then y. And so the answer is, there are two equilibrium solutions, or more precisely equilibrium points, zero, zero, and two, one. And really, the interpretation is solutions starting at those points stay at those points. 
so interpretation solutions starting at two one stay at two one at two one. In fact, we'll see a cool application in a future lecture where two and one are populations of two species. And what this means in that case is if the population start at two and one, then they will neither increase nor decrease. They will just stay at there. 